I need a clean one so I know. I know. Jump out. Anyway, so, um, uh, duh, duh. welcome to God of War. To steal Panther. <laughs> what, what, is that, what else is it? I'm gonna, it's gonna go on your face. Like a spree like of jizz. Like a spree of jizz. You're now listening. Over your face. To your steal um, Panther. Um, bananas. <laughs> Famous off band lit. Have you ever, <laughs> not sure if you've heard of them. Have you ever listened I'm to a Steel Panther song? Bases. What? Have you ever heard of a Steel, a Steel Panther, Panther song? song? No, I haven't fucking listened to Steel Panther. All right. Well, I mean, they have some cool songs. Fucking music. Okay. I, I mean, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of music they sing. It's sort of like Ninja Sex Party, but it's like it's like the metal hair bands mm -hmm. of the time, and they've got some. There's one. Wait, what the fuck were we doing? I can't remember what it is. Pretty good though. I don't remember where we're at in this. It's been a while. It has been quite. Quite the hot minute. That's our child. Yeah. Don't fucking stick your hands in there. There's giant snakes in there. Look at there he is. Yeah, there's literally a giant snake in there. Oh, look at him. There he is. This that giant snake spends all day peeing in this water, and you just put that on your hand. That's yucky. He's like, dude, this map is fucking sick. Yeah, man. Look at this a snake. I, it's right there. He's a snake. Yeah, he's a snake. I like this. This looks a lot like the Westeros map. Speaking of which, Game of Thrones is currently running. Was that the sweetest segue you've ever seen? Put the segue on the screen. Look at it go. Yum. It's Paul Blart. <laughs> Look at him go. Wow. God, he's so fast on that segue. I think it's all the extra weight from Kevin James' gut. <laughs> you think Kevin James is funny? You just completely crumpled up your segue. And fucking drop Listen, kicked it we're into talking like about the something deepest fucking more important of 80s. now. Do you think Kevin James is funny? No, I don't think Kevin James is fucking Welcome funny. Welcome special guest, Kevin James. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, that was in Paul, I was in Paul Blart. That's the last thing I was in. The Paul Nothing Blart else. podcast. There, there actually is a Paul Blart podcast. No shit. Every year they film one podcast where they talk about Paul Blart Mall Cup 2. <laughs> it's actually, it's... Funny as a joke, I've never listened to it. I don't know how every year you can find something new to talk about for Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. But there's a podcast for it. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Dude, can you pause them so I can look at the map again? Because they're saying... <laughs> Whoa, that looks like... No, it's not worth it anymore. <laughs> that does look like the... Uh, anyways, guys, uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Last season is happening right now. It is currently running. It's probably done by the time you're seeing this. Sweet. But um, there will could be mad as sucks at it. I do, and this this could take forever. But who knows? Your fucking son is dead. He just got a board of wood in the back of his head. Dude, I'm a rapper. Dude, um, how do you feel about events? I'm just, gonna let, I'm just gonna let you uh take control of this because I feel like you. I have opinions. You've got opinions. Jon Snow didn't get to pet his fucking doggo, and I'm so sad. I don't want to hang out with anybody who says doggo anymore. Fine, he didn't get pet. He didn't get to pet Fuck his wolf, up. and that's so sad because of the CGI. They just said they had CGI difficulties. It was a cheap fucking way to be like, all right, well, I mean, we can't afford this, but like, we but definitely you, can. You put the dragons in it so much in scenes we didn't need dragons. That first episode, there's like a five minute flying around on the yeah, dragon sequence fly around. Yeah. where nothing happens. Put that money into just him petting his dog. Or just the dog. People yeah. have been bitching about the dog not being in it for fucking ever. I just thought it was so sad because he's like, take care of the dog. And then it looks over the dog and then he looks at the dog. And you're like, he's going to go say goodbye to the dog. And he just walks away. Yeah. That dog has been with him since he was a fucking little pup. Yeah. And he, he just walks away. He doesn't even say that bye. Dog. That's okay. Maybe they're saving it for a... Uh, he doesn't even Arya's wave. dog. Is Arya's no. dog still with? Yeah. I don't. I never remember like, which ones didn't die. They ran. It just Arya's and ghosts and ghosts yeah. are alive. Because they killed one they of them was put on fucking Rob's head. Hell yeah. What? They cut off uh Rob Stark's uh direwolf. They cut off his head, mm -hmm. stuck it on Rob Stark's body. Okay. Yeah. And like paraded him around. It was really but disturbing. There was anyway. one of them that was like. Oh yeah, because it like bit. Joffrey. Or Joffrey, and yeah. then they killed it. But yeah. they didn't kill the one that actually bit Joffrey. Yeah, they killed Sansa's. They killed Lady. 
That sucks. And then lead, yeah, but then uh, uh, what's her uh, Sophie Turner adopted that dog in real life, so it's okay. That's so cute. And then I don't. Dude, Sophie board. Turner just got married to Joe Jonas. I know. Isn't that crazy? Hey, fuck that. We're still talking about Game of Thrones. No, I'm on Jonas Brothers um, now. They're back. <laughs> Better than ever. I hate this season. You do? I hate Me this too, season. as well. Mm-hmm. Mainly because I feel like the writers just don't fucking care anymore. Well, because it's not written by George R. R. Martin anymore. It hasn't been written. George R. R. Martin hasn't written any of them since Jon Snow died. The book? Yeah, that's where it left oh. off. Oh. It, they've been kind of winging I don't know, it ever it's... since. Which is fine. Because that, that... that's what they did with... Um, I don't know if you watched Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I, I did. I didn't I watch it. Both of them. Uh... But th- one of them is like the actual <laughs> manga version. I think yeah. it's Brotherhood. And it's then the Brotherhood. other one, they, they went to like <clears throat> they season kind of... two and they're like, fuck it, we gotta go off on our own. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know which one's like the better one or which one people like the most. Uh, Brotherhood is better because it's on the manga and it just makes more sense. Mm. Not that I read the manga. But like, I, fuck. I feel like we're gonna get a definitive edition of this last season, where George R. R. Martin now sort of gets to see where everyone, because even if he went in, he was like, "All right, here's my plan. Just do this." Mm-hmm. And then people go, "I don't really like the fact that the Night King gets fucking oh spoilers, for sure." Who cares? One hundred percent. The Night King just fucking dies, two episodes, like three episodes into the season, after being built up as the big enemy of the show. Yeah, they literally just fucking killed him. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even like it was all about like it was a fucking empowerment thing too because they were like yes Arya you powerful woman you did it that's been John's fucking enemy since the beginning yeah it's all been about John and fucking fighting the Night King uh-huh. and that's what we've been fucking waiting for the writers don't give a shit they just know that it's gonna make a ton of money I liked the Arya moment because people look back at a conversation she had with um. The the red woman. The red woman. Yeah, that was in that episode. Where no, she's... no, but way back, like when she when she takes away um, Gendry, way back when she, when Arya's mm-hmm. still pretending to be a boy, she says you'll kill somebody with brown eyes, blue eyes, and green eyes. Mm-hmm. Brown eyes is the guy that kills <clears throat> Rob Stark. Mm-hmm. That the fat like um, uh, dad that marries away the daughter. Yeah, uh, he the... had brown eyes and yeah. she kills him. Uh, fucking blue what's his eyes face would from be the Night King, mm-hmm. and then green eyes would be Cersei. Cersei. I don't That's... think she's going to kill Cersei. I think they already blew the load and they can't do that again. I don't fucking know. But I think if that was the plan, they have some setup for it. Dude, this one's lady. Who cares? I'm going to kill them all. Actually, I'm, I haven't played this game in a while. I should be careful. But also, like, I don't think for dire wolves, they didn't, they're not that much bigger than like a, a normal dog. Like, well, do you remember Rob's? Dog. Rob's was, but and then not, they just kind of, uh, I died. I'm taking a nap. I'm just gonna um, let not die. ghost. Ghost, at least in that scene there, it didn't look huge. Yeah, you yeah, probably yeah. Just, ghost was not that big. You'd but probably uh, just find a dog big enough. In in in. God damn it, Justin! Just text once, fucking Jesus. Rob Stark's direwolf was fucking huge, mm-hmm. and he was the coolest part of Rob Stark's story arc. Do you remember when they're like interrogating Jamie? And the wolf is like walking on the outside of the cage, and like it like does really cool shit with the lighting. It was cool. They don't give. I don't know. They don't. The writers are just. They don't give a single fuck yeah. anymore. It's really upsetting. And I think I really didn't like the battle for Winterfell. Yeah. Because I couldn't see shit. Yeah, it was awful. Like that. There's like this big moment where like all the dragons are gonna fight. It's it's Jon Snow and and one dragon. Um, wow, that was fucking fucking brutal. Amazing. Hell yeah! Um, Get out of here, ghost. And Daenerys on one, and then and then the Night King on the other one. Yeah. But you don't know what's happening because you can't none see. of the dragons look visually different enough for you to tell. And I'm just like, I don't know whose dragon that is. I don't know who's on the dragon. Someone just fell off. I think it was the Night King. Now Jon Snow's on the ground. Did the Night King's dragon die? He did just get his whole fucking neck ripped out. No, probably not. Okay. And then I was just like, I don't, I don't. It's it really, really it's me. been really fucking frustrating for me. Just watching it has just been mm-hmm. not okay. And it might have just been my own self hype, but aside from uh, Mormont, mm-hmm. I didn't really care about anybody that died in the battle for Winterfell. Anything Jorah died. 
Ghost died. There was Lady Mormont. The oh, guy. Well, well I like I like one. I like Beric Dondarrion. Who's he? The uh, Beric Dondarrion is, is the, the, fire guy? Guy, the fire guy. I yeah. like him just because I think he's, he's cool. cool. But like he's. I was like. I... Yeah, I mean it's okay that he died. Like it, it doesn't really matter that he died. Like like it made sense that he died, and so I wasn't sad. I really thought I we were gonna him. get like a Brienne of Tarth dying because they set up this big thing where they're like she yeah, gets knighted like... and she's smiling and she's so happy. Yeah, and then she gets to die as a knight. That yeah, would and everybody. Really cool. Well, I mean, everybody knows what happens in Game of Thrones, and people have good things happening to them. Yeah, and also, uh, uh, something that people have brought up is they feel that the current situation for Game of Thrones has become exactly what it's set out to not be. Like you start the start of Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. they establish if a character is in a situation where they are probably going to die, they're not going to get bailed out because they're a main character. They're mm -hmm. gonna fucking die, and they kill them. Mm -hmm. But then in this season, you've got stuff like Jon Snow standing in just next to everybody that had just been killed in the fight, mm -hmm. and then they all get brought back, and then he just kind of like fights them off until the dragon kills them all, mm -hmm. and then he gets to run away. Mm -hmm. Like he's getting bailed out just because he's the main character, and they need him for something else. Like why put him in that situation? If you're gonna bail him out with some Deus Ex Machina or whatever mm -hmm. nonsense, well, it's just like George R. R. Martin started it and was like, "This is bad writing when people do this," mm -hmm. and then now the show has devolved into that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't know. It's kind of wow. We really didn't get anywhere in this fucking game. No. Come, let us finish this. Like this is still the very beginning. Yeah. Pretty much. Wow. Like, we killed all the elves in the elf place, but wow, that was it. It's crazy. Anyway, um. I, I, I don't know. They're just they're they just don't give a shit anymore, and it's really sad to see. Mm -hmm. Just because it, it really does seem like, like, nobody's. I don't know. Yeah, and like, people were talking about oh they don't give a shit. Best example, they fucking left a Starbucks cup in the shot. Yeah. Nobody does that. Like they probably took like ten takes. Who's one? Whose fucking Starbucks cup was it? Because they should be executed live on the show. I'm betting it's Jon Snow's. And then, two, how does it get through, one, the recording? The showrunners are in that scene, by the way. Mm -hmm. They're the two guys that are standing behind him. Then we climb. How does it get past that? Mm -hmm. How does it get past editing? Then how does it get set for, pre for, for production to be set out? Like, there's so many spots where someone should have seen this and gone, there's a fucking Starbucks cup right in the middle of the shot. Use a different take or reshoot it. Obviously, reshooting is not easy. But, like, it's better than having a star. It's you, unprofessional, I would even sloppy. I use a shittier take. Fucking the worst. I didn't notice it when I watched, like, the thing, because I wasn't looking. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I saw it, like, the, the, the tweet that I saw where someone was like, yo, there's a fucking Starbucks cup in the shot. You're like, oh, yeah, like, that's literally the only thing on the it's, screen. It's, it's like, center, center of the screen, screen. yeah. Well, so here's the thing. I didn't notice it because I wasn't paying attention because I was fucking bored. Yeah. And then I hate when they... they so Another part of, of Game of Thrones, and this is sort of because they... It's become too big where now all the, the people that are in it want a bunch of money. And HBO isn't making too much money off of it where they can just kind of up the budget every time to a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. So but they have to, to cut shit. The first season's shit was slow, but it was slow in a good way, where you'd be like, okay, these guys are going to get from here to here, and there's going to be shit that happens when the whole time, and we're going to be interested the entire time. Now, shit just happens where they're like, well, we're going to go attack uh, Cersei, and then in the next scene, they're standing in front of Cersei. Yeah. And you're like, this took five episodes in season one mm -hmm. to even get here, and you just did it like that. It removes a lot of the tension because, like, you build that up, and that's like, okay, something's gonna happen mm -hmm. five episodes from now, and we're building this tension, and then you see reactions and stuff like that. And also, characters just know shit they shouldn't know. Yeah. Cersei's like, I'm with your child to this fucking guy. And then in the next scene, um, what does it say? Tyrion's just like, she's got a baby now. It's like, how do you fucking know that? Well, I mean, uh, uh Jamie told her, told him. Probably. Jamie was with them the whole time. What do you mean? So in the newest she episode, told, she told Jamie that 
She told in the end of season seven. She told Jamie that she was pregnant. Oh, okay. So that's ja- that's that's not the fucking. No, it's it's okay, Jamie's baby. Then I totally forgot that. Yeah. Never mind. Because it, because I it's been so long since two two years since. I had seen, not two years, but like a year since I've well, seen. It's been two years. Like, no, but I didn't watch it as they were airing the last one. So okay, it's been like a year since I saw it. So I, I totally forgot that that's Jamie's kid. Mm-hmm. And she was just like, he's like, I'm going to put a baby in your belly. And then she's like, the next episode, she's like, I'm pregnant. And I was like, oh, okay, then that's his. Because I forgot all about that Jamie shit. So, oh, I thought that was another dog. Um, So in my head, I was just like, why does this guy randomly fucking know about this kid that we were just introduced to? But if it's Jamie's, then we should be And shit happens way fast. Like, Jamie's like, I do care about you, Brianna of Tarth. And you're like, this is a really touching moment. And this is actually built up that Jamie has had this crush on this girl for a long time after being her captive. And then she's his captive. And they're, like, working together to survive. And then it's just, like, the <clears throat> next ten minutes, he's just like, nah, fuck it. I smashed. I'm out. Yeah, see ya. I'm gonna go fuck my sister again. Well, I, I don't know if that's if that's what they're leading to. I'm not sure what the fuck they're trying to do. I think that they're trying to lead to the fact that... She deserves better. Brand's hard. I think, yeah, I think that they're trying to say that Jamie's gonna go kill Cersei. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of people that I think are in line to kill Cersei right now. But, like, at this point, like, I don't care. Like, mm-hmm. it's... I don't know. I think I've been out of all the people that deserve this. to do it, it's Aria. gotta be Sansa. I think Arya. Really? Yeah, I think Arya. It's on her list. I don't know. Yeah, but specifically, she spent all those <clears> first <throat> few seasons torturing Sansa. That's true. But it's also just Joffrey torturing her. So, I mean, like... Hmm. I, don't, I don't know what they're gonna do with Sansa, but, like, her character arc is pretty much at a dead end. And her she's the only character that has any sense in this entire season. She's like... Hey, maybe we should like figure out what this dragon lady is about. And then they're like, "No, she's fine." And then she's like, "She's gonna want to take over the north, and we're not gonna give her the <clears> north." <throat> and, she, and then John's like, "I'll give her the north. I don't care." <laughs> well, that's the thing. I, I don't. So I mean, I kind of understand what they're doing with uh with uh Daenerys. I've been kind of rooting for Daenerys since since day one. She's been fighting for it, and she's been like good. But now they're kind of like pissing that all away. Yeah, she's just. And they're like, yeah, she's gonna be. Well, she's supposed to be like mirroring the the Mad King, her dad. So that's what they're kind of trying to do. I understand that. Really, a gummy bear? That sucks. That, that's what it looks like. I was thinking about that when I when we walked in. Anyway, um, what are we supposed to do again? What am I doing here? You don't have another orb thing. I don't have another orb thing. I don't worry about. It. But yeah, like because she's becoming really paranoid and everyone, and they keep showing it. And what I'm afraid of, and what I think is going to happen, and we'll know if it if, if the next episode plays out the way I think it does. Mm-hmm. First episode was set up like, hey, we're back. We're just Second episode was build up for the fight with the Night King. Mm-hmm. Third episode, fight with the Night King. Third episode, build up for fight with Cersei. Fourth episode, fight with Cersei. Fifth episode, build up for a fight with whatever. Daenerys. Sixth episode, fight with Daenerys. And then you're done. And then that's that's the whole show. And you're like, these are payoffs that took eight seasons to get to, and you're paying off all of them in six episodes. And it's... You should have been paying these off sooner. Mm -hmm. There it is. And like... Oh, there it is. You should have been paying this off like last season had one of these payoffs. Or the, the season before, or anything like that. But you just set up so many villains, and then you're like... Fuck, we're ending it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. None of these villains have been... All of them have been built up to be the number one. Now we have to decide who the number one is. Mm-hmm. We'll say I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Uh, uh, okay. Have you heard of anything about the Clegane Bull? I just want the... It's just the mountain and... Yeah, the, the, Cle- the Clegane Bull I'm excited about. Me too. I think what's going to happen is it's going to be... The Hound and Grey Worm... Versus, yeah, especially the now. Don't or maybe well, then shoot the things. I'm trying to get you to point at them anyway. Whatever. Well, I think it's also it could also be Arya because the mountain is on her list also. Yeah. And nope, they haven't really been doing a lot of payoffs with her, with her list. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
I think we're gonna get a scene where the hound dies and she she's like well I think I think that's the thing she's like, he's off you're off my list now I think that they're gonna be the mountain, but the hound is gonna die in the process because like he has got no other purpose. Sure. Like that's what they're kind of doing. That's the theme that they're following. They're like, all right, this mm-hmm. character no longer has a purpose. Their story arc is done. Killing them. Yeah, that's what they've always been doing. Mm-hmm. Not always been doing. That's not what they did with Rob when the story was still good. Yeah. But, like. Maybe there'd be a bridge. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just upset that I'm gonna have to fucking read to get the good story. This is bullshit. Well, I mean, even, even the, uh, the fucking, the, the book is also not the same. Like, it's, it's drastically different. Is it? Yeah. It's kind of, I don't know. Like, they're super thick books, too. And, like, don't get me wrong, books are cool, and, and reading and getting information is cool, but, like, well, you've like never been gonna... much of a reader. I haven't been much of a reader, but there have there have been books where I read it and I'm like, this is really good, and then I watch a movie and I go, I actually got way more out of the book than I got out of this usually, movie. Usually, yeah, do. Usually yeah. you do, but sometimes it's like it, it was better to to see this visually than than just like reading it off a page in my imagination. Like you know, maybe I this think visionary had a better. That's what I was. That's why I was actually scared of you playing D and D. What? Because you don't like books. You don't have an imagination. I have an imagination, and I, I like reading. It's just I don't have the attention span or the ability to sit long enough to actually read. Because what happens is I sit there, and then my fucking <clears throat> my legs start moving, and my hands, I'm like, I got to be moving. Otherwise, I'm going to fucking freak out. Yeah. So it's just it's like that. I'm not. That's the only thing that holds me back from reading. Anyways, we'll talk more about Matt's illiteracy in the next episode. Yeah, I don't read good. What are these words on the screen? More pictures.